So the market share decomposition, it's technically just a penetration share. How much of the customers actually willing to purchase Coke? Share of wallet, how much loyal do they actually purchase Coke? They don't purchase some other products. And heavy usage index, the usage, how frequent do they actually use it? Or how fast or how geared they are? And then you have it, you have the market share. Okay, let's revisit this question just now. So you have the penetration share for calls, it's 40%. The SOW or share of wallet for calls is 60%. And the HUI for calls is 1.4. So what is the market share then? So as you know from the formula above, market share is equals to penetration times SOW times HUI. And that's going to be 40% times 60% times 1.4. So this will give you a market share 33.6%. Now this formula can also solve for any one variable should you already know the other three values. So for example, if market share is 16%, penetration share is 20%, and SOW is 40%, what is the value of HUI? So you know that the market share is 16% is equals to the penetration share of 0 0.2 times SOW of 0 0.4 times the HUI, which is unknown. So HUI is equals to, now if you do your math correctly, this is time, so if you put it on the other side, it will become a division. So 60% divided by 0 0.2 times 0 0.4. So this is all over, okay? So your HUI has to be equals to... So I hope that makes sense on how you calculate your market share and how why does this breakdown is needed is because to actually let you know on how do we actually calculate the market share. So just make sure that you know what are some of the decomposition from here because this is important as a market share is actually a broken up into three different components. And as you probably see, if you change each of the component, then your market share is going to change as well. Now, these are some of the summary of the market share calculations formula. So as you can see, a unit market share is your penetration share times share of customers times heavy usage index. Your revenue market share, it's your penetration share times share of wallet times heavy usage index that we went through. And lastly, a revenue market share, it's also can be broken up into penetration share times share of customers times heavy usage index times relative price index. So as you can see here, share of wallet is technically a share of customers times relative price index. Now, there are some of the consideration if you are lacking of each of a matrix in here. So a decomposition of market share enables marketers to understand what are some of the causes of change in market share. So if your market share is, goes down, we have to identify from a niche point of view. So is it because of the usage that caused the problem? Is it because of the penetration that caused a problem? Or is it because of the share of wallet or the loyalty that comes to a problem? So if each of them are very low, then there are certain strategy that we can combat. So for example, if you are lacking of penetration share, so obviously you need more coverage of the market because in that case, you are not covering all the market. So that is something that you want to watch out. So one way of doing that is obviously to promote your products to the world at large. So you might want to so you might want to increase your awareness. How do you actually do that? Well, obviously promotion, advertising and so on. Well, it could be also making sure that there is a right distribution such that your product is readily available in all different supermarkets for example. Now share of wallet is technically a loyalty measures. So one way is to actually focus on the depth of relationship. So you can cross sell 
your product to, to other customers. So, so one of the industry that you can think about is telecommunication industry, where for example, Optus might be asking you to join their or sign up for their internet broadband when you are already a customer for their SIM cards, for example, or you might be a customer for their Foxtel, or you can also do a loyalty program. So calls are having with flybys, Woolies, they have the everyday rewards card. So these are the type to increase your relationship. And lastly is the heavy usage index to gear up the usage. So how do you actually increase customers to use more? One of them, you can actually target customers with higher usage. So you want to really target customers who are intensely use your product. Or you can also increase in terms of the product development. You might want to increase variety of products. In the way, you can also give a price promotion because price promotion enable them to might be stockpile your products or you might want to give an educational video about why you should use more, encourage them to use more and so on. So at the end of the lectures, I just want to go through one more time in terms of the calculation for this market share. So in this case, I'm just going to do Woolies. So the same data, so you can actually calculate for all different aspects. So you can calculate for Kohl's, Woolies, and Aldi. But in this case, I just going to calculate just for Woolies. Now, first of all, I, I want to calculate what is the market share for Woolies. So as we all know, the way how you calculate market share. So the first one is MS, which stands for market share, just to clarify that. So the market share for Woolworth, it's basically the total number of revenue since we are getting revenue. So total number of revenue, which is 200, divided by the total number of customers in the market. So that will be 440. So 200 divided by 440, you will get approximately 45%. So the next one is the penetration share. Now, as we know, penetration share comes from so I'm just going to write here. So penetration share comes from brand penetration divided by also the market penetration. Now, as you know, the market penetration, since that all these five customers are buying into any one of the retailers, if you remember, so my market penetration is actually one. So in this case, my brand penetration will be equivalent to a penetration share. So if you don't know about this, watch out the earlier video to know more about that. So what is my brand penetration? Now the brand penetration in here for Woolies, there are three customers and out of five customers. So if you think about it, the penetration share, it is my brand penetration at this moment is three out of five. So that will be 60%. Now, the next one is actually going through what are the total spendings of them. Now, the total spendings for all of the Woolies customers are, so the total spendings, not the total of Woolies, but the total spendings by the Woolies customers. So the first one is customer one, which spends $50. So I'm just going to give a tick. Customer two didn't buy in Woolies, so I'm not going to count them. Customer three do buy at Woolies, so I'm gonna count them. Customer four didn't buy anything from Woolies, so I don't care. Customer five do buy something from Woolies, so I'm gonna count them. So it will be 50, 200, and 50. So if you total them up, that will give you 300. Now next is the SOW, or share of wallet. Now if you remember, share of wallet is how much customers spent in your store divided by customers who are spent as a category purchaser. So in this case, in terms of SOW, your customers or three of your customers spend about $200 in Woolies. But in total, they are actually spending $300. So your SOW is 200 that's how much they spend entirely at Woolies, divided by 300, how much customers spend 
overall. Okay, so this will give you about 67%. Now the next question is, what's the average spending of Woolies? Now, average spending is basically total spending, which is 300, divided by the number of customers who purchase at your retailer. So in this case, in Woolies, there are three customers who are spending $300. So an average of that spending is going to be 300 divided by 3, which give me $100. Lastly, I want to know the Hui, the heavy usage index. So I want to know the average spending in Woolies, which is what I calculated here, divided by the average spending of the whole category. Now we just have to find out the average spending for the category. So that is going to be 440 because that's the total number of customers who's spending divided by five. So that's going to be 88. So my HUI or Hui, it's going to be 100 divided by 88. So that's going to give me about 1.1. So, to conclude, so we have this market share here, but we also know from the previous slide that the relationship of market share is equals to SOW times HUI times penetration. So if we are going to calculate that, SOW is 67%, HUI is 1.1, times penetration is about 60%, this will give me 45%, the same answer as what is in here. So that's all for this week's lecture. Now what I want you to do is to make sure calculate, to make sure you know how to calculate the MS or market share in general, what are the penetration share, the total spending, the SOW, which is share of wallet, the average spending, and also the heavy usage index for different categories or different brands, so like Kohl's and Aldi. So if you can do that, that will be great. So answers will be posted up at the end of the week so that at least you don't cheat. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any question, let me know. So in summary, we have talked about how market share can be a measure for a performance of a brand or a product or a firm. It can also be identifying the factors behind and performance for developing strategies and improving performance. So we talked about what market share is all about and whether they are actually a good performance or indicators or not to the company. So if you remember the linkage between the market share and sales and also market share and profitability we also talked about the drivers behind market share where we talked about three different key drivers so the first one being a penetration share the second one being the sow or share of wallet or a measure of loyalty and the third one is the usage and how would you transform these three different indicators into something that you can, into something that is managerially actionable. So what happened if your share of wallet goes down, then we list down some of the different strategies that we can use. What happened if you want to increase your SOW? What happened if you want to increase your heavy usage index and so on? So these are some of the managerial implications that you can use. And lastly, we talked about the managerial implication where we list down what are some of the strategies if you are lacking in these pointers or in these drivers. So for example, if your SOW or share of wallet goes down, how would you improve that? So we have talked about that, whereby we're giving you a cross sell or we are giving you a more loyalty programs that sort of help the customers to stay loyal and choose your product 
how to increase the penetration share. How would you increase your HUI or heavy usage index? So we list down some of the strategies that you can actually present this to managers such that it will improve your market share in the long run. So that's all for lecture three. So I hope you have been enjoying all this lecture series. And if you have any question, please do email me. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.